Welcome to the last strike force mission called Dispatch, where we're going to eliminate General Zhao and have the Chinese government retake control of their military. This upcoming map shows you the location of the sentry turrets where you can find the ASDs and General Zhao's VTOL. The sentry turrets are located to help you find them to complete the challenge where you have to disable them and then take them down. And the ASD locations is just where you'll find them to complete several of the challenges required. Many of the challenges in this mission are very straightforward, like all the other Strike Force missions are. So I'll just explain them as we go, and then once I explain them all, uh, I'll just let the video play through so you can have an idea of what to expect in this mission. So the first mission that, or not mission, but challenge that you can go through is melee kill 10 enemy soldiers, and in this one you're going to have the knuckles to do this way. The second challenge they have listed is ready to destroy six ASDs while they are disabled. So you need to make sure that the soldier that you're controlling has EMP grenades, that way you can take down the drones very quickly. You also need EMP grenades to take out the sentry turrets uh, when they're disabled, because you have to eliminate three of them for uh, another challenge in this mission. Since EMP grenades are also useful to stun enemy soldiers, you can use those to uh, stun ten enemy soldiers and then eliminate them while they're stunned for another challenge as well. So, a lot of the challenges are revolving around the EMP grenades, so make sure you have a soldier that has them. Going back to ASDs, again, um, there's a challenge that requires you to destroy two ASDs with one burst. Uh, that map I showed earlier at the very beginning of the video has the location of where all the ASDs are going to be. So you're going to want to get a guy with a small and hopefully an EMP grenade as one of his uh, grenade types. And Disable two ASDs in the same location and use this monitor to take them both out with that one rock. You also need to use explosives for killing 15 enemy soldiers. It doesn't matter what kind it is. It could be the rocket launcher, the grenade launcher, or any type of explosive grenade you have. For the challenges that require you to use just your weapon, uh, you have to kill 10 or 20 enemy soldiers with headshots. Now, it can be a little difficult depending on what difficulty you're playing it on, and probably it will be the most time consuming challenge that you'll end up doing. In this game. So, from here, I'm just going to run around and try and complete several challenges, uh, depending on which ones they are and which ones I haven't completed yet. So, I'll let the video do the rest from here, and I'll drop in a little more commentary at the end for the last two challenges. Man down! Friendly reinforcements moving to support. Got him! Got him! Hostile ASD is down! He's down! Infantry under direct command. Engaging enemy infantry. Got him. Fresh troops on deck. Targeting enemy infantry. That's a hit. Waypoint established. Moving now. Targeting enemy infantry. Helmet cam link established. He's down. Infantry under direct command. Moving to neutralize infantry threat. Threat eliminated. Kill confirmed. Eagle down! Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. Engaging enemy infantry. Kill confirmed. We got a wounded man! Confirmed. Fresh troops on deck. That's a hit. Targeting enemy infantry. I got it. Waypoint established. Moving now. Eagle down! Friendly reinforcements moving to support. Confirmed. Fresh troops on deck. Man down! That's a kill. 
Engaging him. We have a teammate bleeding out. Enemy ESD down. Friendly reinforcements moving to support. Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. Confirm. Fresh troops on deck. Engaging enemy infantry. Helmet cam link established. Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. Eagle down. Kill confirmed. Targeting enemy infantry. Eagle down! That's a kill! Confirmed. Fresh troops on deck. Engaging enemy turret! Kill confirmed. Enemy turret destroyed. Targeting enemy infantry! Enemy ASD down! I got a wounded man! Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. Friendly reinforcements moving to support. That's a hit. Hostile ASD down and out! Targeting enemy ASD So after we make it to uh, the down veto, uh, we have one last challenge to complete where we can use only one hacking module to uh, open up the VTOL and get the generals out. So after you get this place down, you want to have all of your reinforcements regroup at this area here. That way they can help you defend uh, the area. Any other challenges that you want to go for, you can try and get before the hacking module is completed. There's a task. There's other, one other challenge I didn't really mention. Is that you have to complete the mission in under Confirm. 3 minutes. If you go for all the other 8 challenges, excluding the tactical view, it's pretty difficult to complete all of them in one playthrough. So this mission will require another one, and you can almost easily complete it in tactical view in under 3 minutes. Got him. EMP charge successful. Moving to target. Security systems down. Door is open. We have a teammate bleeding out! Got him! Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. Mission success. Target is confirmed dead. Copy. Ensure photos and site exploitation Once the mission is completed, completed you'll earn site. the Art of War achievement. And you also earn the uh, ship shape achievement if you completed all other strike force missions uh, when you play the mission Odysseus. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of my walkthrough for Call of Duty Black Ops 2.